Hi, this is Pastor Jeff from Community Covenant Church with a few minutes of encouragement from God's Word on this Wednesday. In John chapter 20, we have the account of Jesus' resurrection and then his appearance to um, the women and to the disciples and then to Thomas, who wasn't originally there. And then Jesus appears to him and lets him see and touch and prove that he has risen from the dead. And at the last part of that chapter, chapter 20, John, in his account, says the following, beginning in verse 30. He says, The disciples saw Jesus do many other miraculous signs in addition to the ones recorded in this book. But these are written so that you may continue to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that by believing in him you will have life by the power of his name. I don't know about you, but I have normally thought about people who um, come to believe in Jesus as their Savior by reading some passages in the Gospels and Scripture passages as a first-time decision. And it's like, I now, I believe. And it's a, it's a done deal. But here John says an interesting thing. He says that these things were written so that you may continue to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that by believing in him, you will have life and by the power of his name. You know, when John wrote his gospel, he was the last of the four gospels to be recorded. And it was, you know, in the late part of the first century. So the people up to that point didn't have the gospel. To believe they had what the disciples, what the followers of Jesus went and told people. It was the oral tradition, the stories about Jesus and, and all that they taught. And they had the Old Testament that they could look at and see how Jesus was foretold. But now they had the gospel. And this was given to people who already believed in many cases, at least to start with. And it was so that they would continue to believe and have continued confidence that Jesus is the Messiah, God's Son, and the one who brings us new life. Do you spend time in God's Word to allow it to continue to help you to believe, to recognize God's presence and the new life that He gives you? Because when we spend time in God's Word, and you know, I hope that you benefit from these little devotional things and looking at one or two verses, but it's reading it for ourselves, it's meditating on ourselves. Spending enough time so that it can speak to us through the Holy Spirit. That is where our faith and our belief continues to grow and be strengthened. Spend God's time in God's Word so that it can help you to continue to believe. Let's pray. Jesus, I thank you for your love and I thank you for your Word that enables us to not only learn for the first time, but to continue to believe and to be reaffirmed our faith so that you can grow us so that we could become more like you and ultimately that our faith is strong so that it can then overflow from our life into the life of those around us that others can know this good news as well so we thank you and we praise you in jesus name amen so once again john chapter 20 verses 30 31 the disciples saw Jesus do many other miraculous signs in addition to the ones recorded in this book. But these are written so that you may continue to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that by believing in him, you will have life by the power of his name. God bless you, and uh, may you experience real life this day and in the days and weeks and months and years to come. God bless and take care.